Hey Pisces, hope you're doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you this week with your general love reading. We're gonna find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind in love. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, guys, so it won't resonate for every single Pisces out there. So do take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Throw it out the window. If it doesn't resonate, do check your moon, rising, and Venus sign, as well as the other videos on my channel. I do weekly love readings for all the zodiacs, okay? So if this one doesn't hit home, you're bound to find one that does. If it does, please do let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification button. Pisces, if you want a private love reading, do let me know through July 31st. I'm offering a $20 love tarot reading. That's it. Just $20 love tarot reading, and you join my mailing list, and you'll know about future upcoming promotions, offers, and special deals. All right, so July 31st is the deadline for the $20 love reading. All right, so Pisces, I have the Light Sears Tarot here for the main spread, and I have the Everyday Witch to clarify. And you know what? I'm doing things a little different this time. I'm going to pick some Oracle cards. Whoop, what just popped out? We got the High Priestess card. Pisces, you are just talking, and I haven't even stopped shuffling. All right, so Pisces, we're going to find out what's, what's going on in love. This could be someone that you're connecting with, dating. It also could be the energy of a past lover, all up in the mix. All right, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate the support. All right, let's get it. What's the current energy? We got the judgment in reverse. So someone's thinking about undoing a decision, reversing something here. Something may have been final in the past, but someone now wants to reconsider this, okay? Typically, this is like a reconciliation, okay? But something has to, is up for discussion again, okay? Um, the challenge is the Ace of Swords because someone wants to speak some truth, okay? Um, typically, the Ace of Swords is a breakthrough, some kind of clarity, and it typically is some kind of communication. The good thing about it is that it's honest. It's tr it's truthful, right? Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone may be kind of spilling the beans or kind of enlightening you or telling you the truth about how they truly feel. There may be someone here that you have ended a situation with in the past, and now they want to they want to make another judgment call. They want to reconsider this. Okay, they want to come back and do something over. That's the energy I'm getting, Pisces. Um, the recent past energy is a Six of Wands. So you guys maybe have gotten a lot of attention. Okay, maybe this person was a little bit of a attention whore. I'm just saying, Six of Wands, someone was getting attention out there, out in the public. Maybe they got a lot of social media um, likes. I'm getting DMs, whatever. This person, it could be you or your person, Pisces. Someone was out there um and definitely like the tension but also here they they like to be in the they like to be in the public's eye okay like to be recognized acknowledged by other people we got some leo sag aries energy on your mind pisces we got the lovers gemini energy so you have probably made a decision about this person in the past okay um i feel here it was a decision that you made ultimately and it was regarding this judgment call okay you probably ended a situation or made a final call about regarding the past okay with this person so we'll find out some more what's in the foundation the world so there's a lot of change going on in this connection we got three major arcanas the lover's judgment in the world there's a lot of big powerful change a lot is going on behind the scenes that you may not even be aware of pisces in this connection with this person but look you guys are soulmates it's a very strong strong soul tie you have with this person i think you you still are very much in love with this person or have a very strong connection you probably cannot truly let go okay let's find out more coming into the moment what can you experience the queen of pentacles in reverse someone may be getting out of a commitment to come toward you to have this judgment to have this reconciliation okay some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign you guys could have been married to this person as well the queen of pentacles in reverse okay i'm also just feeling this person does not feel complete without you okay ever since you guys may have split maybe their their whole life has gone to shambles maybe they've lost their job they're financially insecure dealing with a lot of financial hardships they're not complete they're not whole without you and so now someone here wants to speak some truth and come back have a judgment call have a reconciliation a resurrection something here a revival okay guys so um how do you view yourself right now pisces 
Eight of Swords. Remember, so you guys have let this person go, okay? You may have been trapped, stuck in your head, a lot of anxieties, worries about this person. Maybe about making this final say in the past about letting this person go, okay? And maybe you were fine with that decision then because you've, you're, you've released something here that was just very troubling, very challenging, okay? And you view yourself as now maybe in a much better place than you were before, okay? You've let go of that Eight of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, the strife, the, the the heavy anxieties, all that feeling tied, feeling bound. Again, with that lover's card, strong, strong soul connection. I mean, you guys are like attached at the hips. I mean, glued apart. And that's probably why you felt tied and bound to this person. But you've let it go. You've let it go. And the world probably helped you. That world card, the universe really propelling you forward to release, heal, recover. What's the energy this person's coming toward you with? The Queen of Swords. Again, Gemini, Libra, Chris, this person has something to say. This person is, could be definitely an air sign, but someone here has to speak some truth, okay? With the Ace of Swords, typically the Queen of Swords, as you know, there's been a lot of um, hurt. There's been a lot of pain here, maybe in this connection. Maybe you guys are in this cold energy, very much detached from each other, maybe not speaking much, okay? Can be a little bit cut in your communication, all right? Something happened in the past. You had to let let go of this person for your for your betterment, okay? For your your greater good. In your feelings and emotions, you got the moon. Yeah, so you feel there's something hidden. Maybe this person has a secret motive or some kind of intention here for coming back with that judgment in the verse that you may not feel you are aware of. You feel that like there's something hidden. You feel that something isn't right. You see this queen of swords, she's kind of looking out. She's like, hmm, scratching her chin. You guys are like, what's going on? What, Pisces, that's your energy right there in your feelings and emotions. So you guys are all in your feels right now regarding this person coming back, okay? This person could really stir up a lot of emotions too with that moon card, all right? A lot of lot of water energy, Cancer, Pisces, but if, if anything, just a lot of emotions are coming to the surface surface you see this and it's really because this person has a a really a special place in your heart or you feel very tight and bound even though you've let them go it's like it's all coming back up right pisces you know how that is all right so what's the outcome here the seven of pentacles okay so you know really deciding do i work on this i've let it go you're reflecting you know you feel like you put time into it in the past and it just didn't give you anything it just was a big fat waste of your time and so now you guys are juggling two of pentacles you're stuck you're stuck do i let this person back in do i let go do i consider this you know you're confused right now so you're you have two paths you have two options here some of you guys have two people yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. There could be someone else in your midst offering you here a commitment with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone who is probably a little bit slow to offer you anything. So you probably are just like, mm, I'm not sure if it's even going to be anything. So maybe I should go back to this past person. All right. Some of you guys have two options. If not, you guys are stuck in your head. Two Pentacles. Maybe you guys have a lot on your plate too with the Pentacle energy. All right. But I feel here you're like in a balancing act. You're juggling between this this past person if you should let him go or not okay so i'm gonna give you some clarity guys all right pisces cancer pi pisces what do i say cancer pisces sun moon rising and venus what's going on let's get some clarity here i'm gonna start with that two of pentacles as an overall theme because that's how you guys are feeling coming into the moment i mean this month of july this this particular week if you guys are resonating with this reading you guys are kind of in the balancing act or juggling if not you if this person comes back when they come back that's how you're gonna be okay literally two of pentacles what do i do what do i say do i let go two of pentacles what's this about you're finding your stability or your balance yeah page of pentacles you guys are not sure if you should move forward with this person if you should communicate if you should offer anything with the page Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys want to hold back. A lot of you guys are unsure. With that moon card, a lot of insecurities, some fears about this person coming back. What's this judgment in, in the um, current energy between you guys? Yeah, what did I say? Definitely in reconciliation, the tower. This person does not truly want to let you go. They may have avoided you for some time, but that tower comes down and it destroys their foundation. It brings some kind of enlightenment, okay? Some kind of illumination to this person. And they're like, wow, Pisces is my person. Pisces is my soulmate, is my twin flame, whatever you want to say. This, there was an enlightenment. There was some kind of clarity that came through once this tower 
came down. So this tower either a re just recently happened, okay, that led to this person wanting to come back and make another judgment call or reconciliation, or this person is currently avoiding you right now, but there will be a reconciliation, the judgment card, there's something here that's coming back. But this person could really be like not talking, not communicating. Some of you guys, this person's holding back. But there's love here, right? They're wanting to come right in and scoop you right up, make a romantic proposal, get this thing back up and running, okay? They literally want to hop on their broomstick and send you a little a love offer here, okay? Knight of Cups in verse. This person's holding back, repressing their emotions for you. But the challenge is to speak some truth with that Ace of Swords, right? But... You guys are dealing with someone who has a lot of heavy burdens, a ten of wands. They could have a lot on their plate. They could feel a lot of worries, okay, about you accepting them if they were to come back and reconcile with you. There's a lot of heavy weight, maybe a lot of emotional and physical distance between you guys that's creating them burdens and, and not and kind of causing them a little hesitancy and being able to have some kind of communication dialogue with you where they tell you the truth and what they really want. Okay, this person's very burdened, Ten of Wands. In a recent past, the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the recent past and this connection with Pisces and their partner. We got the Hermit in reverse. So yeah, this person, something happened. You guys end up going within. Okay, your person could have cut communication. Typically, the Hermit is going going within, but trying, kind of withdrawn, going in solitude, okay? Um, and I feel like there was something here. It could have been an Empress. It could have been someone here that got in the middle of this connection, Taurus, Aries energy. If not, it could be a Virgo, but something may have gotten in the middle of this connection that caused things to not move forward, that caused this person to no longer nurture, nurture you and see your true worth, Pisces. I do feel here, they didn't, they didn't like see who you truly were because you were the Empress, but they didn't, maybe they didn't know that until this enlightenment came, okay? Some of you guys, this could be a mistress getting in the middle that they, they were trying to get some kind of recognition or attention from with the Six of Wands, okay? And it may have backfired on them, okay? I think it caused them to then go into this hermit energy and then they realize, wow, Pisces is their empress. Pisces, you know, they look at you as being very motherly, very um gentle, you know, you're creative, you're just a blessing, you're just, you're gorgeous. And it took them a while. Some of you guys, this person may have been dealing with this person for a very long time, especially if they were a Virgo, a Taurus on Aries, okay? But they're going, they've gone within with that hermit card. This person may have went quiet on you, blocked you, cut communication, but they were doing some healing. Somebody's doing healing and I feel they got an enlightenment, okay? With that judgment in reverse and that tower, something went off in their head, a light bulb, and they were like, oh shoot, what did I do? Pisces is my person. Pisces, you're thinking about that, that lover's card. We got the... Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Someone walked away. Someone walked away, and I feel like your person may have walked away from you emotionally. Maybe you got emotionally involved with someone else. Or they did something that caused some kind of division, and you decided to walk away. You made the decision ultimately to leave the situation. You had to make the best decision for yourself, a head of a heart decision on how to move forward, not letting your feelings and emotions get the best of you. And you did it for, for your fulfillment. You did it for your happiness here with the Eight of Cups, okay? Even though you had a very, very strong soul tie, you loved this person, you, that was your soulmate. But someone had to walk away, and they made a very difficult decision they were really probably split with the two of swords had two options it, it was very hard a very challenging decision here but someone walked away in the world the foundation um this is about positive change a lot of um completion of cycles you could have been feeling like you were you know in this cycle with this person for a very very long time but right now you're dealing with someone who's just not communicating with the knight of swords in reverse they're withholding communication from you they're not telling you the entire truth how they feel they're being dishonest okay some of you guys are definitely dealing with your child's father with the emperor card it could be a taurus um you're dealing with as well but someone wants to take charge move things forward here with the emperor they want to make the they want to do the right thing they really want to make a decision and take charge and move things forward but they're not communicating okay in fact a lot of you guys this person has to grow up they're maybe a little bit immature a little bit older than, younger than you okay um, but I feel like they really want to do the right thing. They're struggling, but they can't communicate with you. Possibly because they're having burdens. They may be still going through a tower moment as well, okay? And they may feel that maybe, you know what? 
Pisces probably don't want me anymore because Pisces gone left with the Eight of Cups, made a decision here. And coming into the moment, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What's this about? This person could have been dealing with the, with the Queen of Pentacles. Someone here they may have been, may have committed to, maybe had a child with. Typically, Queen of Pentacles is married with a child. This person could have made a bad judgment call in the recent past. With the judgment in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles, this person could have definitely made a bad decision, got involved with someone here, maybe committed to someone, got into a marriage, a bad situation, and it turned around on them. Okay, so coming to someone, we got the Queen of Pentacles. What's this about? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What's this about? Yep, the Magician in reverse. So your, your person is having a difficult time creating, manifesting this beginning here with you about coming in, uh, you know, telling you how they feel, making a romantic proposal, a gesture, telling you, Pisces, I care about you. They're having a difficult time, so they're kind of coming off like this little, you know, someone here who just doesn't speak, okay, may have excommunicated from you, went ghost, okay, but and they're struggling. They're, they're having a difficult time manifest the beginning, and you have let this go. You may have been waiting for a very long time with the Seven of Pentacles in the outcome and the Eight of Swords in reverse. You've let it go. You have been waiting and reflecting on this person when they would do the right thing for a very long time, and you're at a point where you've just had to see the truth for what it is with the page of swords you may have gotten some truthful honest communication from someone else it could be a air sign and you decided to let it go let go of the anxieties the worries the frustration feeling stuck okay feeling bound with that eight of swords energy your person is bringing you the queen of swords so they're i feel like your person is just they're having a difficult time communicating with you what do we need to know about this what's this queen of swords I think a lot of you guys, this person looks at you like the Queen of Swords. Like, you are a badass. I mean, you are just like, you know, you've been hurt before. Maybe you guys are just, you know, communicating very much clear-cut, like, cold, detached. I'm really getting energy. You guys are just not on a good page. And it's really because someone... Someone was probably holding back or someone had secrets. Okay, we got the moon coming out again. And there's some kind of fears and anxieties about this. And I feel here your person, it could be a Leo, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, it could be your energy, Pisces too. I think you feel this person still is up to no good. There's some kind of deceptive energy or you feel this person is still holding back, is, is lying, deceptive, manipulative. I don't feel you can think you, you, you can trust this person. A lot of you guys are literally communicating in this Queen of Swords energy because of this deceptive energy because of these lies okay and with the strength of inverse your person's having a difficult time they're feeling powerless they're feeling weak and not able to bring some truth to the matter bringing the truth to the light with the queen of swords energy okay they're having a real difficult time because in your feelings and emotions you're just you're feeling probably emotional pisces or you feeling like yeah we got the eight of wands i think you want this person to communicate but you're not showing it you're like mm, what now Right? This person is having a difficult time communicating to you. That's the bottom line because you guys are like almost cutting them out. Okay? I feel like they they need they know they need to come correct to you with the Queen of Swords energy and they're having a difficult time. They're having a real difficult time. Eight of Wands. There could be a lot of physical um distance between you guys. You guys have to like travel together, travel toward each other in order to communicate. There also could be what's this Eight of Wands? Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Again, there's a lot of communication that has to come through that someone is just holding back. Your person is holding back. They're trying to restrain themselves with the strength in reverse. Yup, mm -hmm, look at that. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck. They have a lot to say, a lot to say, but they don't know how to say it. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles is the outcome. What's this about? You guys don't think this will be a victory. I think you guys have let this go because you don't feel that like you can bring... They could bring stability back. Like, you feel like you would just spend another seven years wasted with this person, okay? I, don't, I think a lot of you guys don't like that they like attention from other people, okay? And you just don't think it would just be a success, okay? So a lot of you guys, again, the idea of this person coming back with the Two of Pentacles, you're just like, mm, I don't know if I want to work on this. I'm just, you know, you guys are just holding back from that energy. So I don't blame you. I'm going to give you some Oracle cards, some additional messages here for Pisces. What do we need to know for Pisces regarding this person coming back into their life? What do they need to know? Any messages here for Pisces? What is the deal for Pisces? We got a card that flew out. What's this? Uh, 
faith in the process faith in the process so this is saying have faith okay um this is the whole part. There's a lot of big major icon. There's a lot of big change. I feel like the universe, again, is propelling you to move forward. It's allowing you to release something here that isn't serving you. And so I feel here there's something here about patience, strength, being having faith in the whole universe supporting you in this mission. Okay? So don't give up, guys. It's challenging. It's tough. But if it was easy, everyone wouldn't be able to do it, right? So what's this? Diving for light. Diving for light. And going beyond normal. So I feel here diving for light. There's something here regarding, again, the light being the truth. Illumination, clarity, truth, right? So your person is really trying to come to surface. Diving, I'm feeling like water. They're trying to bring all this to the surface. There's a lot of emotions, feelings between you guys, right? There's a lot of, um, there's a very deep connection with that lover's card. And this person is really trying to dive deep to try to give you this truth. Bring the truth to light. Bring you the clarity, the illumination that they've been wanting to speak, okay? Um, going beyond normal. So this is something here. This person's having a difficult time in, in stepping outside side of the box okay they may feel like they you know they're really struggling to just um going they, they're just having a difficult time just coming to, to telling you the truth about how they feel okay i feel like your person is just they're dying to reveal something to you but they don't know how to and i feel the universe is telling them to step beyond step beyond this um this little hurdle or this, you know, whatever this little playing field that they're stuck in and, and come to you and deliver the truth. There's a lot of communication trying to come through with the two moon cards, this kind of really holding back, repressing emotions because of some kind of fears and anxieties. But I do feel this person has something to say and this tower is bringing them, is bringing um, some kind of clarity or allowing things to come to the surface and giving them the push to, to bring some kind of truth to you. So, yeah, Pisces, this is what's going on right now. Let me know if this resonates for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Come back next week for another reading, okay? Take care, Pisces.